This is the the there we go. The Sunlight TL L215 bicycle tail light review. Good intro move. I bought this light because I needed a rear light that could attach securely to my Mission Workshop backpack. In the past, I used this light which has a clip in the back and it slides onto the strap, but it comes off too easily. The Sunlight TL L215 has been manufactured since 2013. It has two half watt LEDs, an internal non-replaceable lithium ion battery, and includes a micro USB charging cable. A standard USB to micro USB cable is included, but you'll have to supply your own wall ward or some sort of powered USB port in order to charge this thing. The back of the light has a groove and a rubber strap designed to attach to the bicycle seat post. This rubber strap is the reason that I chose this particular light. It happens to fit perfectly around the flat vertical strap on the back of the Mission Workshop backpack. And it will probably work on any backpack with a strap in the back. The TL L215 has three modes, low, medium, and blink. Now the manufacturer claims a two to four and a half hour runtime on a single charge, but I'm dubious. Are you dubious? Yeah. Utilizing the time-lapse function of an RX100 camera and the timer function of a gracious three-year-old's Samsung mobile phone, I'm going to set up a controlled environment in this kitchen drawer. With the camera and the light in the drawer, I started the stopwatch on the old phone and waited until the light was spent. In this first test, the light is turned on in high mode. After only two and a half hours, it's almost completely dead. Next up is the low mode. On low, the light is spent after four hours and 15 minutes, lasting almost two hours longer than high. The third and final mode is the flashing mode. This is one of the most useful modes because it has excellent visibility and should last much longer than the high setting. Sure enough, it lasts an hour and a half longer for a total of four hours. I also captured one more time lapse to determine the charge time. That yellow light indicates that the unit is charging and will turn off when complete. Total charge time, an hour and 30 minutes. After reviewing the time lapses, I realized that I needed a more accurate way to quantify the light's output over time. Each time lapse is a series of frames or images, and each image is a set of pixels that represent light. So I coded a JavaScript program that analyzes each frame of the time lapse. Every pixel of a frame is analyzed to calculate a luminance value, and then the luminance values are averaged to a single number that estimate the brightness of the light. Utilizing this data set, it was then trivial to generate a graph that visually depicts light output over time. High, low, and blink settings were graphed one over the other for easy comparison. When looking at this graph, it becomes clear that on the high mode, the light output remained steady for the first hour and a half, and then it diminished rapidly. On both low and blink modes, the output remained steady for the first three hours before quickly fading. So to conclude this video, I'd simply say that this light is just okay. For commuting, it served me well. But as I find myself going on longer and longer rides, I'll be on the lookout for a light that lasts much longer than three hours before requiring a recharge. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider clicking the subscribe button so that you'll be notified when I post new videos in the future.